Well, hey, everybody out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are taking a look at the solo to multiplayer game Cat Stacks. It's for one or more players, ages seven and up, and the average game time will, will vary based on which level of puzzle that you play. If you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that, and it sure does help us grow. And if the video's helped you in any way, you wish us to support us directly, you can always visit the application Buy Me a Coffee. Now let's dive in and take a look at what's inside the box. There are 12 cats of different sizes, shapes, and colors. There are puzzle cards and the solution cards. To play, you will want to separate the solution cards from the puzzle cards. Keep the solution cards to the side so you won't be tempted to take a peek. Place the cats in the center of the playing area so all players can reach. Players now choose which puzzle card they wish to play. The cards are separated by color to indicate difficulty. Beginner, Intermediate, Expert, and Master. Each card will include the following information. Here shows which of the cat pieces are needed for this puzzle. This area is the play area of the card and ultimately where you will place the cats during the game. At the bottom, there is a number on the left which indicates the puzzle number of the game. Here is the number of cats involved in the puzzle. And here shows how many levels the cats can be stacked on. It can be one, two, three, or four. One would mean that no cat can be stacked on top of another, while two would mean that there can be two levels of cats, and three would mean three and so on. The symbol on the end is a reminder as to the difficulty of this puzzle. Players now choose which puzzle they will like to accomplish for the game. Once the card is chosen, place it in the center of the playing area. Find the cats that are needed for the puzzle as indicated on the card, and then begin. The cats can be placed however you choose. If a puzzle is a one-level puzzle, then you cannot turn the pieces on their z-axis, as this is not allowed for this puzzle, as you would be stacking too high. If the game is a two-level game, you cannot stack to a third, and so on. There is no time limit except what the players are willing to give themselves to solve the puzzle. Once you have all of the pieces on the board, or you're just stumped and can't figure it out, you can look to the solution card to see how you did. Keep in mind that there may be more than one way to find the solution. But so long as you completed the challenge within the parameters of the puzzle, it is considered to be a win. To find the correct solution card, just find the same puzzle number in the bottom left corner, and that way you will know you are looking at the right solution. Once completed, challenge yourself again, or call it a day. And that's how you play Cat Stacks. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short explanation on Cat Stacks. If you've got any questions, drop them down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer those as quickly as I can. Now we know the basics, so let's play.